Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome. My name is Logical Edits and today I'll be showing you guys how to set up a inventory HUD with Lua. So this is going to be used for picking up parts, uh, shield parts, power parts, or anything you really want to show in an inventory that the player picks up or needs to get or something like that. The first thing I want everyone to do is go into the description below and download everything. I have given you a link to the Lua file for your HUD. If you don't have one already, you can use this one. I'll show you how to install it as well. Uh, download Luigi to get the positioning of everything in Photoshop. Uh, it's really useful. We're going to be using this and it's made by RDV. Also, we're going to need the PSD template that I will be giving you. And also the PNG dump is optional. It is if you want images that's used in Black Ops 3 on the HUD by Treyarch. So the first thing I want to show you guys how to do is take pictures in Ape. This is going to be useful for any models or anything that is not included in the PNG dump. So let's go ahead and open up Ape. For the tutorial, I'm gonna be using this cone. This is P7 Street Safety Cone. We're gonna bring up our camera and make it nice and big. We're gonna right click and just save screenshot. After saving it, we're gonna drag it into Photoshop and we're gonna open up our template. We also wanna open up a new file and make sure it is 512 by 512 pixels. Check right here in the canvas size. And we also want to drag in our cone into this as well, or whatever model you're using, and make it fit. So this smaller file, this 512 by 512 image, is what we're actually going to be creating for our HUD. And we're going to use this as reference. So what we want you to do, we're going to create two images of our single image. So we're going to go back here to effects. We're going to right click on our fill, copy layer style, and paste it on this. Next, we're going to save and export as a PNG and put this anywhere that's useful for you. I'm naming this cone underscore fill. And we're going to do the same thing with our outline. Right click, copy layer style and put here. So we should have something similar to this. And you could do this as many times as needed. Next, in our template, we're going to minimize and not show the effects anymore. And you're going to decide which overlay you want to use. Now, obviously, this is just an example. You could use these if you would like. I include multiple in overlay two with different sizes, or you can just use the big overlay that this one's from Origins that I just painted over and made it look empty. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna use the really small one that I included here. So what we're gonna want to do is disable the background and we're gonna save this entire thing as a PNG. We're gonna name this BG underscore overlay. And now we could unhide the background, it's up to you. And I'm also gonna make sure I see at least one of these cones. We're gonna be using this for reference later. Next, let's open up Luigi. We're gonna get this, go to edit settings. Make sure PSD resolution is on 1920 by 1080. Export formats on PNG. And let's open up the PSD. Make sure you save the PSD as well. So it'll open up a new version. So it should look like this. And it'll show everything that is not hidden. We have our outline here. And we have our background here. Let's keep this open and let's open up our map name file. If you already have a map file HUD for yourself, that's good. Go ahead and open up that. Otherwise, download the one in the description. And you're going to want to create some folders in your map folder. We're going to go to UI, UI Editor, Menus, HUD, and we're going to paste it right in here. I already have one, so I'm going to be using that one as my example. Make sure again to create these folders if you don't have them. Let's right click, open up in Sublime. This is where we're going to enter in some code. In the description below, there will be a text file that you can download, which will include all code. We're going to select the first bit of code and we want to scroll down until we find where the gumballs are called. So in mine, it's around 497 and you're going to be looking for HUD reference add element gum pack. We're going to add it right underneath there. Just like this. Next, we're going to take the next bit of code, go to the bottom and paste everything after the final end. This is going to create some new functions and this is where we're going to do a lot of editing. So before we go any further, we're going to need to set up some images in Ape and in our zone file because we have right here background image. Scroll down a little more. We have this add element. We have the client field, picked up item and outline item. We have to make images for these and set them up correctly. Let's go into Ape and we're going to create a new GDT. You can name this whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna name this test HUD. Let's go ahead and create a new asset. 
This is going to be an image. I'm going to name this logical underscore cone underscore outline. Let's go ahead and put in our texture or our image really. This one's going to be outline. And let's make sure we tick do not resize and mint map disable. Let's go ahead, duplicate and do the same thing for the fill. Let's set these up in zone now. So we're going to go to our launcher, right click on our map folder and go to edit zone file. Somewhere we're just going to write in image comma and we're going to grab our names that we just created and do it just like that. Should have something along the lines of this. And before we forget, let's also do our background. All right, now that we have everything set up properly in our zone and an ape, we can go ahead and start filling out stuff for our map name, Lua file. Let's take our BG, our background, and replace it here with background set image, register image, our background image. Let's go down to background, add element, all this stuff here. Line field, we're gonna leave for now, picked up item and outlet item. Let's put our outline item Make sure with our outline image and same thing with our fill image for our client field this is what's going to be set up in our csc as well and in our gsc and going to be called in multiple scripts so let's name this something that we will remember let's just keep it simple logical underscore cone we can even add pickup at the end just in case next let's go to our csc and if you don't already have a louis load in here we're going to want to add that in the code will be in that text file to given to you Let's take the second bit of code, that client field register. Let's go underneath this, paste it here. This client field right here, we have to uh, match up with this name. So logical cone pickup, copy that, paste in there. And then we have to add uh, the function at the bottom right here, function CF. Next, let's go to your GSC. Let's go to ZM user map main. And we're gonna put in the client field just above that as well but this is the GSC client field. It's gonna be a different version. And again, make sure the client field is replaced with what we added before. Now to actually implement this, we need a script where you can pick up something. So really quickly, I wrote something just before. And we have the function down here, which will all also be in the text file in case you need something to look at for reference. There will also be a prefab, which you can add into Radiant to test if it works as well. So with our final thing, we can go to the bottom of a text file and find our client field that we have to add into our function. We can just replace show up in inventory now with this and client field. We have to again, replace with our client field, which is this up here that we set in our GSC, CSC and Lua. All right. So finally, we're going to go back to our map name Lua file and we're going to put in the positioning of where the image lies right here. So. Let's go back to Luigi. And the way I implemented this with Lua, we're gonna go to Luigi and make sure you untick top anchor and tick bottom anchor. We're gonna copy these exact numbers into where they lie in Lua right here. So we have 622 for left, 658 for right. We have negative 293 for top anchor. And we have negative 242 for our bottom anchor. So one final thing that I have to mention is if you don't have a Lua file for your HUD already installed, go into the text file and paste this into your zone right here so that it will load and you'll get no errors. If you follow this tutorial exactly how I described it, all you have to do now is link your map and we'll see if it works. So here we are in game. And if we press tab, you'll see our image there. It needs a little resizing, but that's okay. You could do that later. But you will see that is our outline right there. If we go up and pick up this item, you can see that it will be the filled version. All right, everybody, that's going to conclude this tutorial. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new here, please hit sub and also hit the bell to be notified of all new streams of videos. If you haven't already, go into the link tree in the description of this video and follow me on all my social medias. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who watched and have a good one.